to Ryan. What's up, Dad? I'm always looking for projects, you know. Oh, you are indeed <laughs> always looking for projects. I'm bored. <laughs> Go play a video game. All right. So, we have a little shed down there that was here when we got the property. It was, it's a 10 by 16 foot Cute shed. Cute little thing. Cute little shed, just like shed most people buy. And you have it stuffed there, it was there. And uh, we originally had, we have a place in the basement where we store firewood because, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but we have a wood, um, an accessory wood burning furnace. So in, in addition to burning uh, propane for heat, we can also burn wood. That's nice. It's really nice. And so, but we keep wood down there, um, which another project we have to have. <laughs> we have to cut a lot of firewood and stack it. Now we've been working on it, but so originally I had a tool shop because I, I have, I seem to be fixing things all the time. So I have a, a little shed down there and I quickly outgrew it. And now I'm kind of stuck because we need a table saw, we need a chop saw, a welder, you know, we have like the pressure washer and, um, and all of the grease and all of that stuff for the machines, air compressors, uh, the toolboxes, we have storage for wood to fix things, uh, plus all the stuff that goes along with all that, so we're out of room. So I need to build another shed, or just to add on to that one. I don't know how to build a shed. Well, that's why you're here, right? Oh, uh, that's fair. Because we're going to teach you how to do things like that. Um, so it's pretty simple. We're just going to, we'll go cut some wood over at the sawmill. Okay. Uh, we'll probably cut some, cut some 4x4s and we'll just lay 4x4s down on, we'll put concrete in the ground and then we'll put the 4x's on that and then we'll just build, uh, we'll just extend the shed. We'll do it 10 feet wide and we'll just make that one bigger. And then we, of course, we have to put a roof on it and shingle it and build doors and all that stuff. Got to make sure you get the right shingle so it matches too. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how that works. <laughs> it's like you know something. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, but when we get that done, that'll be pretty cool, because that'll give us room to to maneuver and put stuff in. Well, yeah. I'm excited. I've never built anything before. I'm sure there's a lot more that goes into it than just hammer and nails. Yeah, well, first we got to build the platform because the the ground goes like this. So, <laughs> So we're going to have to take the excavator in there and dig everything up and try to figure out where to get enough dirt to build a platform to make it level. We're going to start with that. And of course, when we do that, that's going to throw up a lot of roots and rocks and we've got to clean that out. And <laughs> people don't think about this stuff when you go, oh, it's easy. Just add, a, add on the shed. Add a little addition. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll bet you we can do it in a couple of days, though. Oh, I'm sure. What's the worst that could happen? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> inches here we're eight and a half there eight and a half there eight and a half there nine and three quarters there nine and three quarters so we've taken so these boards we cut down the tree we put here we sawed them into the planks yep. and then we took them all the way down there to lay them out. And do then we have to do this? <laughs> and thought they were flat. Yeah. And then we tried to run them through a saw and that's wrong. So now we took them back here. You put them all back here. And now we're back here to cut them through the sawmill again, hoping to get them ready. We will get them right this yeah, time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, I hate cutting up these pretty, bum, pretty boards. And we want to make sure that that cut is right. Because if it's not, then the butt joint will be ugly. Right? I don't like an ugly butt joint Me neither. And we're gonna go one and one. Okay. Yeah, smart. It's so like making a puzzle. You wanna measure or you wanna cut? <sighs> measure. Okay. So I don't know, that seems risky. Six feet? I'd rather cut, I lied. This is a different saw. It's actually a better saw and a better blade. So the best way to do this is to set that piece right there, right on the line. Yeah. See that? Uh huh. And then look down here at the blade right here. See yep. where it's going to hit right there? Yep. It's already binding. Wow. 
why is it binding? Blade doesn't look bent. Better saw, he said. It's a better saw, but I don't understand why it's doing that to me. We didn't leave the line, you cut right through it. See the line's right there. I cut it on this side just a little bit, but there's the line right there. See that? So well, this is the this is the test. Whew. That's because see that edge right there? So that's the problem is when we get an edge that's bad. What's the worst that could happen? You cut your hand off. Actually. That's probably the worst thing. No, worst thing is you cut my hand off. <laughs> <laughs> so it might be better do like I did and and, and drop it down on it. Okay. I think that worked better. Because you can see the whole thing at one time. Yeah. Alright, so don't let it bind on you. Go slow. You let it's it bind stuck. On you. How did it, what does it bind mean? Just, just that right there. Just like sticks to it? Let me see, yeah. It was going just fine and then Dang. Dang. Better saw, he says. Wow. I have never seen this. In 70 years, 67 years. Time for a new saw blade. Something's really wrong here. Either the saw is bent or the blade is bent. It's not even moving. I'm gonna jerk it. I changed my mind. I wanna I wanna measure now. See the lines here? Yeah. And you see you started way over here off the line? And then you got off, so you're going like this. See that? Yeah. I loosened it up for you. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> See? So take it, just take it and go um, walk it down. Start yeah. right here. Find, and that way you're holding this here, right? That's yeah. on the board. And then. And I got it for sure this time. <laughs> sure, you do. Now just take your time. And once you get it, let it lay down. Let it lay all the way down. Alright, now, now stop. Now back up and do it again. You don't want to take your saw backwards. You can always go forward, right? So you don't have it all somewhere. So just run it. See, and you still missed your line. That's all right. I went on the side of the line. Okay. Like you actually, you're you're actually the same amount on both sides. That's great. That's great. There you go. Yeah, you. Yeah, easy. First try. <laughs> and these boards aren't squared. So we're gonna work with these. We're gonna try these and see what happens. Pretty close, except for, see that? Yeah, those little hiccups. It's what you need an edger for. Well, we had a little thunderstorm, but I had plenty of time to get the deck done this morning. So, finally had enough boards and was able to get a, borrow a planer and use the table saw. 
and we've got a deck for the shed. So now we're going to be working on the walls. I need about 32 by fours. I got to go cut those to build the walls and need two by six for the rafters, a two by eight for the header up there. And uh, we'll start putting that together. Actually, it's 92 and three eighths, but who's quibbling? Okay, so we need something 92. There you go. That'll work. So we got a board, we got a board. Now we want to make sure we got a square end. That's not exactly a square, right? Yeah. So is the other end more square? Yes, no, no it's not. So to make it square, we take a speed square, take the saw, hold the speed square, square off our end. Very cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. Measure from here up 92 and a quarter and make your mark and you make your mark with a little V, right? Yeah. Okay, now we cut it. So slide it down. You'll notice, see the shadow? Yeah, that's cool. That's an LED that does that. So first we got to make sure that it's square up against the you got to make sure it's square, which okay. it won't because it's not square, <laughs> but it's close, right? And then move it. Now, which side of the line do you want to be on? The one that gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Well, the one, so that because you measured exactly, so you want to leave the line, right? Yeah, so you want... So you want that on the... Oh, there you go. Right there? Yep. And okay. you want to... So get your saw started first before yeah. you put it in the wood because it's a... It's a Chunk over there. Mo! Here, this is for you. We'll put the. You want to mark this Why board. does it seem like it's off the line? It isn't. Here's the line right there. There's the line right there. Okay. Which line are you looking at? This little arrow, which is like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch off. Yeah. It's... All right, so now what we want to do is, is mark it off for. It's not supposed to rain. <laughs> it was raining. <laughs> so now what we want to do is mark it off. Use your speed square. So that when we put the two by's on. It's not on, even square. So when we put the two by's on, that we're, um, we've got them straight on the board, right? So first we want to go 16 on center, right? Remember? Yes. So where's our mark? It goes. Uh, inch and a half away from it. Inch and a half? Or just inch. Or just, no, no, no. Half of an inch. Half, half an inch. Half of an inch and a half. Okay. Three quarters. Three quarters. Right? So if we put it, and so we put our line and we put an X so we know it goes on that, that, goes side. On that side. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So we do that for every 32s. And you notice that the 16s are all in red. See that? Yeah. The feet are in black. See that? Okay. 16s are in red. This is a framing tape. It's made for this. Okay, so mark every one of those. So that so when you're standing out here on this side and you've got your piece of plywood up and you put your tape up, you 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 can you you go to 16 and you take a level and you make a line up and down and then you know your screws go in that line. And you know you're going to hit a stud. Yeah. Make sense? Mhm. Mm Hey friend. Hi. Can you help? Um, excuse me. Look at this guy. This is, no, this is no joke. It may look light, but it's like 50 pounds. I know that might seem... It's awkward to hold, okay? <laughs> stop, stop laughing at me, okay? It's slippery and muddy. I don't want to hurt myself. Where am I? Where am I supposed to... Where should I put this? Just hang on. Just let's <laughs> cut them up and bring them in. As okay, I'll, I'll just stay right here with it. Put them on there. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang on to it, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Stack them over there. 
I want to test it first just to make sure. Doesn't matter now, you cut it. Oops, sorry. Perfect. Yeah, but so I don't make the same. I don't want to cut a bunch of them and make them. They go, oopsies, no, oopsies. Right on the deck, right over there. Out of the way. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's right. That's a cool tool. Well, you see why I need a shop now. Yeah, I understand. because we're trying to get the roof on the shed so this is my job here I am peeling the strips off the shingles and then I'm stacking them up here on the corner and then my roofer man is coming over and getting them and nailing them down we've got the sprinklers going in the garden and our faithful companion is sleeping down there on the plywood he's had a busy morning so it's the morning after a pretty good thunderstorm. Ryan's already up and awake, amazingly enough. <laughs> and uh, we're working on the doors because although the roof worked pretty well, the doors, no doors didn't make for a great keeping out the weather kind of stuff. So Ryan's doing some carpentry. What you doing this morning? Messing the doors up. What's the matter? Oh, it's so uneven. The cut's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's not easy, it's, is it? It's just so wavy. So how do we fix that? I, I don't know. Get, just get a new door. Just go to Walmart and get something like that. <laughs> just buy a shed. That's an easier option. That's no fun. So how do we fix it? We can sand it, I guess. Yep. Or you can plane it. Or you can plane it. Okay. So I don't have a very good plane, but we'll try to get a plane out and see if that works. But. Yep. So the idea is we'll use two by fours on the outside to frame it and I would say just put a couple in there so we can test it so maybe maybe three one on each end in the middle and we'll be good. Twenty five and a quarter. The door doesn't fit. <laughs> the door never. It doesn't fit yet. Yet, exactly. Yet. yet. The problem is that the dog put muddy footprints all over it. Look at that. And it just messed it all up. All of it up. Shoosh. So I think what's happening. Ah, see, now that's flush. We had it in wrong. <laughs> see? No problem. It was just upside down. That's right. Uh, I don't, I don't know how that works, but... <laughs> I don't either. Next is the bigger door. So we need a piece of plywood. So Hercules is bringing the plywood. <laughs> Coming down. See that table? That table's cool. So that's actually going to be a butcher block table. We're gonna... That's another project. We got lots of projects. We have lots of projects. Yeah, but we'll get them done. Use the magic pencil and a magic tape measure that appears out of nowhere. 
and you're going to you want to know how tall it is because you're going to cut the end off first so you'll cut off an it uh, a foot and an eighth those graduations they're either eighths or sixteenths so once we cut the end off why do we cut the end off first I don't know we have a more usable piece of plywood right it's only a foot but for instance these pieces here oh, I, I cut off for the shelves so I've got three more shelves sitting here and three up there so I've got boards to build shelves with but if I had cut the whole thing in half then I wouldn't have usable pieces of plywood make sense mm, makes sense okay Mo wants to chase a rock yeah go get it Mo so the next project this morning is paint sprayer we got a paint sprayer and we have paint and we're going to paint the outside of the shed so get this unboxed and get this going get the paint out shake it up stir it up cover the windows in plastic get to painting so this is how it works you point this thing at somebody and you spray them <laughs> So the dog's painting himself. The chicken's not in it yet, but looks good. We don't have enough paint. The guy didn't give us anywhere near enough paint. And he said we had extra. So, heavy on this side. We're about halfway done on this side, but we're almost out. <laughs> Y'all blue all over your head? I do. I probably all over my face too. No, it's all over my legs. Oh my goodness! You just—I think you got more on you than you did the building. Well, that's not all my fault, you know. Ah. Uh, and it's a hardware store closed on Saturdays. Kind of hardware store closes on Saturdays. <laughs> so we'll go Monday and get another gallon of paint, get it finished, and then I'll get all the trim done in white and it'll be so beautiful.